हेलो फ्रेंड्स ऑल यू कंस्ट्रक्शन टेक्नोक्रेट्स आर वेलकम टू कंस्टेक्नोज फोरम टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ वेल फाउंडेशन फॉर मेगा रिवर ब्रिजेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल नो दैट व्हाट द फाउंडेशन इज और व्हाट इज द फाउंडेशन इन इंजीनियरिंग अ फाउंडेशन is the element of a structure which connects it to the ground transferring the load from the structure to the ground that load can be anything such as dead load self weight of a structure seismic load wind load live load traffic load or any combination of them foundations are classified into two main categories shallow and deep shallow foundations are those that transfer the load of the structure to the soil near the surface while deep foundations are those that transfer the load to the deeper layer of the soil or rock when we get sufficient hard layer within about 3 meters from the ground surface or there is no covering of ground we adopt shallow foundation but this is not possible in all cases when there is a need to go deeper to get hard enough bed or the river bed is prone to scour then we adopt deep foundation what could be the simplest foundation today our engineering has developed a lot but when we go into history we come to know that how the foundation started it is found that in the past we used a stone to protect any wooden structure from contact with the ground and to ventilate the lower part of the structure this stone is called pad stone perhaps the simplest foundation is the pad stone a single stone which spreads the weight on the ground and raises the timber of the ground among these stones there are also some special type of stones which we call straddle stone now what is deep foundation deep foundations are used when it is necessary to transfer the load of a structure through the upper weak layer of upper soil to the stronger layer of subsoil below broadly speaking there are two types of deep foundations it can be either pile foundation or well foundation now we come to our main topic what is well foundation well foundation or caisson foundation is a heavy gravity type structure which is very stable in deep river bed well foundations or caisson foundations have been in uses for foundations of bridges and different structures since the roman and mughal periods well foundations are utilized in india for centuries because of giving deep foundations below the water for aqueduct bridges and monuments for instance the popular taj mahal of agra exists on well foundation well foundations has some advantages over the pile foundation a well foundation because of its large cross sectional area and rigidity can resist the effect of its covering very nicely the depth can be determined as sinking progresses since the nature of the layer can be examined and tested if essential at any desired stages a well foundation can resist large lateral loads and movements which occurs in the case of bridge pillars towers and tall chimneys and of course the cost of construction is comparatively low well foundations are advisable in rivers where a heavy covering during flood would otherwise expose the piles and lead to buckling in such conditions it could also be possible for the floating debris to get entangled 
in between the naked pile shaft which can exert unpredictable forces in them there are three types of caisson or wells are commonly utilized which are open caisson box caisson and pneumatic caisson pneumatic caissons are no longer in use because workers have to work in compressed air and hence it is not safe for human health box caisson is used for low depth of water and is not suitable for deep water river like ganga the most common type of well foundation is the open caisson our today's topic is on open well so today we will discuss only open well open caissons also called well foundations are caisson in which the top and bottom of the caisson are open during construction an open caisson may be circular rectangular or oblong in plan it has a cutting edge at the bottom which is fabricated at the site along with the first segment of the shaft when the well sinks by self weight the soil inside the shaft is dressed by suitable means which aids further sinking into the ground mainly there are seven components of well foundations now we will discuss about each component one by one cutting edge the lowest part of the well foundation is cutting edge and it enables penetration of the bottom of the well during the sinking the thickness of the cutting edge and the slope angle of the inside edge should be such that it should be sharp sufficient for easy sinking and at a similar time should not break when penetrating through the hard rock or soil the outward edge of the cutting edge is kept vertical while the inside edge has a slope of one horizontal versus two vertical the cutting edge can be made from angle section or it can be fabricated using 10 mm thick plates when the weight of the well is sufficiently heavy placement of cutting edge first of all before placing the cutting edge we prepare the ground by leveling and doing proper compaction wooden slippers are placed on previously leveled and compacted grounds these wooden slippers have been placed to avoid any distortion during the heavy weight of the well curb to be casted over it now the cutting edge is placed over these wooden slippers well curb the well curb is composed to support the weight of the well other loads that required to be evaluated in the design of a well curb are sand blow and blasting which may be resorted to for the sinking of the well the well curb should be reinforced with the minimum m25 grade concrete with a minimum reinforcement of 72 kgf per cubic meter in case blasting is expected during the sinking the internal face of the well curb should be conserved with steel plates of minimum thickness of 10 mm up to the top of the well curb after the well curb is cast and the shutters is released a scale is painted in four locations on the outer face of the curb the zero of this scale is matched to the cutting edge and gradually moved in the upward direction with each lift of casting of the well staining this scale marking has two benefits firstly it represents the total depth of the well sunk and secondly 
the tilt and shift that occur during the sinking process of well are calculated from observation taken at these scales staining the walls of the well foundation are known as staining staining earlier utilized to be created with bricks or stone but today it is mainly prepared of concrete the staining is similarly reinforced suitably to resist the stresses created during the sinking of the well as well as the design stresses the thickness of staining is normally about 1/4 of the diameter for railway bridges and 1/10 of the diameter for road bridges the staining should resist the more stresses generated when corrective measures are taken for tilting and shifting of the well sinking of the well to sink the well we remove the soil inside the dress hole from the bottom of the well in this way we create a sump under the cutting edge and eventually the well sinks under gravity due to its self weight the next segment of the shaft is then added to it the process of sinking by self weight as well as by dressing continues till it reaches the required depth open casing can be constructed up to any depth and the cost of construction is relatively low sinking a well under its own weight is the traditional method of sinking in this method we deliberately make the well heavy enough so that it easily sinks under its own weight but today we adopt jack down method for sinking well sinking by jack down method is a precise and controlled method of well sinking within the allowable limit of tilt shift and rotation of every stage of its sinking the basic principle of the jack down method is to apply pressure over the staining wall with the help of hydraulic jacks which are connected to the support outside the well pre stress anchor are provided as reaction for pushing the well downwards bottom plugging after the sinking of the well is finalized to the essential depth the hollow dress hole at the underside is concreted up to some depth which is known as the bottom plug the bottom plug will increase the bearing resistance of the well evaluated and gives long term stability to the well foundation the surface of the bottom plug is created ball shaped to have an inverted arch action the bottom plug is mainly designed as a thick plate subjected to a uniform bearing pressure under the maximum design load it has to expand for a minimum height of 300 mm above the top of the well curve sand filling the dress hole between the top and bottom plug is injected with sand after sinking is finished to enhance the self weight of the well to enhance its stability and to ensure that no tensile bending stresses are created at the base of the well foundation sand filling however is not assumed to carry any design load and the entire design load is assumed to be carried by the staining top plug the top plug is of m15 cement concrete grade of 300 mm thickness above the sand filling well cap the reinforced cement concrete slab constructed at the top of the well is identified as the well cap the well cap contributes the 
रिक्वायर्ड सरफेस फॉर पोजिशनिंग द पियर और एबटमेंट एंड ट्रांसफर इट्स लोड सेफली टू द वेल फाउंडेशन द बॉटम ऑफ द वेल कैप इज मेनली केप्ड एट द लोवेस्ट वाटर लेवल द लिस्ट रेनफोर्समेंट इन द वेल कैप इज अबाउट एट्टी के जी पर क्यूबिक मीटर द लॉन्जुनल बार्स फ्रॉम वेल स्टैंडिंग एज मैनी इन नंबर्स एज पॉसिबल शुड बी एंकर्ड इन टू द वेल कैप दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड मेथड ऑफ वेल स्टैंडिंग इट इज बेस्ट सुटेड फॉर शोर वेल्स और रिवर वाटर वेयर डेफ्थ इज सैलो When the river water depth is shallow, a temporary island is constructed to place the cutting edge. But when the river is too deep, it is not possible to form a stable island. In that situation, floating caisson is the most common method for constructing a well foundation. First of all, waterproof caisson are fabricated on the river bank. and then floats are towed to the actual foundation location the floating caisson is deployed at the design location with the help of a total station and anchored to the river bed to make it stable the concrete is poured under very controlled conditions to maintain an even layer of concrete so that tilting of the well could be avoided during concreting as concreting progresses the caisson begins to sink and this process continues till the cutting edge touches the river bed once the well comes in contact with the river bed the standard method of sinking is adopted for further sink the well as explained earlier 